the fact that uh, Africa was actually part of the Bible, that uh, uh, we can actually talk about even the justice system and the kinship patterns of Africa and how, of course, even our culture in terms of the justice system, that even before the colonization and even before time, that Africans, we had our own systems and those systems are actually part of our culture and traditions and uh, we can actually not uh, go away from even our spirituality, even if we are Christian, uh, because Christian, as, as Africans we are part of the Bible and we, we need to infuse and actually incorporate and have knowledge because the Bible says uh, lack of wisdom is, is what actually destroys people. So we have to actually have the knowledge. If you look at, for example, let's look at uh, begin with the kingship pattern, for example. In re this was basically in relationship to uh, descendants, right? And of course, uh, social relations, uh, social relations, and of course, even during uh, marriage and even development. So kingship, in actual sense, uh, the pattern actually incorporated so many other things: marriage, social status, the relationships that people had, and so forth and so forth. Uh, what are those things that actually did affect uh, uh, kingship uh, in our African culture, and even even today? You'll find, for example, that. The, the, those actually things that uh, affect king kingship would included uh, fertility, included uh, availability of nature, influence, longevity, uh, quality of even king's ties. Like for example, if somebody was coming from a royal family and was being married from a different royal family to a to a new royal family, and so forth and so forth, and even even uh, uh, king uh, in terms of those kingship ties. Uh, in the later life, like for example, what happened, uh, like for example, after marriage, somebody got married into another whole family, which of course would actually influence their kingship. So, and if you look at this, of course, they would include things like uh, marital status, gender, the, we looked at, for example, even geographical proximity, right? Because sometimes you find, like, especially like, uh, because of, the, of, of our culture, that sometimes if, for example, it was during a farming, what would happen, people actually need to relocate. They needed to actually move to a different country, uh, uh, location uh, so that they would actually not be able to die of farming. Those things are the same things that you actually also see reflecting even in the Bible. So in actual sense, these are cultures, the Bible actually speaks volumes. And like I keep saying that God, there is no way you can actually say that uh, the, the somebody brought uh, a God to somebody because God is omniscient and God is omnipresent. So God was there since time immemorial in Africa. Yes, in even globally, basically God was there. So there's no way somebody can actually say, our African heritage actually incorporates spirituality. So that is very important to actually understand when you talk about even the kingship patterns, uh, of course also other things that actually influence that was siblings network. Like for example, if your, 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 your sibling was actually married to a different community, was married, for example, to a Maasai, was married to uh, uh, a Borana, like that. So uh, those things would actually uh, have an effect on our kingship. Like for example, for example, you could not marry. Yes, you could not marry from maybe where your sibling has married. You, those who are basically referred as in-laws, they had actually their place to be respected. There was a place for that in our culture, actually spoke in that regard. We talk about even, even in terms of the other factors, of course, include parent status. Right, uh, depending on were your parents peasants, were your parents uh, royalty, were your peasants in the middle, like that, those like, like almost like a case, you know, like uh, the, when when you, the, when Indians uh, they talk about case, but maybe Indian is a bit too too, ah, it is too intense, right? But in our African culture, it was a bit too. It was it was actually depending on your status, and there was no discrimination. That's why we talk about the justice systems that the elders, of course, were able to actually. There was fairness and there was justice, right? And that would be meted on our people. And and then, of course, the other thing is the ethnoculture, right? The ethnoculture and even our backgrounds. And, for example, even the, the grandparents, besides the parents' status, even the grandparents' status actually would influence the issues of kingship pattern, right? Then you will notice, like, for example, the African culture or heritage actually incorporated things like technology. That's why we talk about, for example, the Egyptian... Um, the Egyptian pyramid. We talk about butter trade, for example. We talk about, for example, um, my grandmother, for example, ex was explaining to me during COVID-19, after COVID-19 in 2020, she was explaining to me, like, for example, when uh, there was an outbreak in terms of uh, of disease, what would happen is that the person who, for example, people would be isolated. For example, there was a hat that was meant specifically for that particular person. So they would actually be isolated.
vaccinated and what would happen those who die uh, they would actually be brought in food those who die they would actually be thrown into the into the hyena it would be actually the, it would be thrown for the scavengers basically to scavenge on them like we talked about the issue of land being sacred that it is only the kings and people are royalty that would actually be put in tombs but uh, so what would happen in that when for example those who have been put in the heart and they didn't, didn't die and they were able to recover what would happen is that they would take their pass they would use they would use uh, uh, something that looks like a needle the, uh, that tree is called what i can't remember that but it looks like a needle so they would actually pierce the, the, the pass and then pass it on on to those who have been affected and there are those who would actually recover so that was actually uh, almost like a vaccination that like the, the the immunity of this person would actually um use the antibodies that uh, this person was actually producing actually be, 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 be injected on the others and of course uh, they would recover. So Africans, we had a lot of technology in that regard. Uh, you talk about, for example, the other issues, our festivities, uh, our cultures, our dance, you know, the, the things that actually would actually influence us. For example, if you went to the some ceremonies, what would happen, the Morans or the, the men would actually admire maybe, for example, this particular girl and who was dance very well and they would actually want to control that particular girl. Maybe, for example, the, 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 the man was a royalty. So what would happen, even if the girl was coming from a place of peasantry, they'd actually, of course, being married to royalty, that would change her huh, in terms of a kinship pattern, right? So we, we can also talk about the issue of religion, we talk about the issue of, uh, we talked about festivities, food, our craft, for example. That's the reason why, for example, you're talking about African, you cannot uh, refuse not to have, for example, a mursik in here, uh, buttermilk. So we pour in our buttermilk. Um, so uh, even our food in that regard was actually something that uh, was very significant uh, to, for us to be able to actually talk about, right? So those are some of the things that could actually influence our culture and in that in that particular aspect. Then you find that uh, uh, other parts, other parts, of course, uh, if you talk about, for example, the issue of the justice system, the African actually had had a, it's called what an African. It had a, we had our African uh, justice system. Yeah, there were courts. There were courts by the elders, and of course, what would happen is. In case there was disagreement, for example, like for example, especially if it was a very heinous act, like for example, death, killing somebody, because like we have said, life was sacred. It, even when, for example, Africans went to war, they would make sure, if, unless there was there was need, unless of course there was actually need to kill the person, you'd find that that never used, actually used to happen. Yes. So unless there was need for somebody to, even the enemies, what would happen, for example, is that they would, for example, use masks that would scare off. Uh, scary mask to scare off the, 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 the uh, enemies. So death was actually something that was was minimized, right? You'll find, for example, even if people went to 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 war, yes, uh, uh, what would happen is uh, they would actually, for example, scream. There's something that they would scream. They would, they would war cries, right? Their war cries and that what would happen or they would actually produce very loud noises to scare off the, the, the enemy or actually put, like I'm saying, the, the scary mask so that it would scare off the enemy. But uh, life was sacred. So if, 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 if killing was necessary, what would happen? It would actually be minimized to the least. That uh, it would make sure that uh, it was the least that would actually uh, be served. So in actual sense, uh, death, even in warfare, it was actually the objective was to never kill it. Right? So, for example, if somebody killed, what would happen is they would actually become an outcast. Yes, so if you became an out outcast, and imagine you go to another land, you go to another community, they wanted to know why were you, for example, rejected from your community, right? Why did you, for example, why did the, the council of elders sit down and decide that you, you are going? It's because maybe something that you had done was very heinous, right? So they would actually demand for you to go back. So you would actually become like a vagabond. You not have a place. To, and what would happen, of course, you would eventually die. You can imagine you don't have uh, uh, social networks. You don't have a family. Uh, people are rejecting you. What is likely to happen? You and people won't even give you food. So what would happen is that the justice system would actually it would, like take its natural course. That particular person would end up dying. And you find, like for example, even if, if you look at even the, the justice system, actually there was that part where we are told, like like when you talk about curses in, in, in the Bible, they talk about four generations. So you'll find, for example, if, even if, 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 in an African setup where, when, for example, somebody noticed a particular disease.
case was recurring, what would the elders, for example, do? Was there need for, for appeasement? Was there, and that is the reason why now when you talk about spirituality and Christianity, that is the reason why you talk about uh, going back going back those four generations, going back to your bloodline and seeking out what exactly is ailing you so that you can deal with it and bring you forward as part of repentance, as part of uh, the healing process was actually mean uh, being forgiven, right? You know, like for example, you talk about the, the justice system, you talk about uh, uh, Africans, you know Africans for example, there is a way we used to say that uh, a hyena could not snitch twice. Because you know when somebody, for example, was killed, because if, for example, somebody had murdered somebody, what would happen if the person has been, has been thrown into the forest of the scavengers of the hyena? So the hyenas, when you say that a hyena would actually not eat twice, meant that if somebody killed, it was a murderer, then there was no need. The justice system made sure there was no need for, uh, for, the, for the council to sit down and decide death or, uh, uh, or the justice or, or, or the ruling would be that they kill the murderer. Like I said, life was really sacred. Life is still sacred, even, even now. So it was, it, killing was actually something that was really unheard of. So when you talk about, for example, uh, uh, double jeopardy, what happens is the hyena could not be twice. That there was no need to kill. The, the killer has killed somebody else. Why should they kill the, the murderer? It was actually uh, not something that uh, used to happen. And it's the same thing, that you cannot su actually suffer the same mistakes. You know, like there's this particular movie about the double, double jeopardy. And even in law, we talk about, for example, you cannot actually, um, you cannot, you cannot go, um, you cannot be in jail. You cannot be, there was, cannot be a ruling that you are put in jail or you're sentenced for the same crime that you have already been jailed for, right? And that is the, the same thing even with Christianity. For example, actually the Bible says, because Christ actually paid it all on the cross, we shouldn't actually be going through the same thing. It is double jeopardy if we have to go through the same thing. So you actually have to spiritually uh, figure out how to be actually, uh, for you not to actually uh, experience that uh, double jeopardy, right? So it's the same thing. And then, of course, the other thing about the legal systems, uh, even in terms of the cycles of life, because, of course, Christian, uh, as, as Africans, we had our culture, of course, we believe in the cycle of life, from the unborn, the, the birth, of course, to the, to the living, to the living dead, the ancestors, to the issues of marriage, the issues of divinity, and even the issue of God and the issue, of course, the end of life, which was death. So all those things were actually incorporated into our justice system. For example, like I have given, if there was death, this this was some of the ways they'd actually be able to actually rule out. Then you can find, you'll find, for example, that that even in terms of like the way they choose it, the judges. They would choose the council of elders. That the elders in a clan, for example, would actually be chosen, and they would uh, sit in the council, right? They would sit like judges. They would sit like the ones who actually give the wisdom of old. That the ones who actually served as uh, judges. And decisions, of course, would be made by the elder. Actually, in most cases, you find the royalty, the king, or even the chief, the chief, <laughs> the chief, the chief, the chief or the king had no uh, remained silent in the entire courtroom session. Right, even among uh, among the Africans, so the king actually respected the court so much that for him the decisions that the uh, council of elders or the judges actually he gave would actually be be what was given. Then, as 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 a sign of goodwill, what happened is, for example, the one who was guilty would actually be given a small fee, uh, just as a sign of goodwill. Basically, that's that. Even even though they had committed a cli crime and they have been judged, but they have paid the fine, they would actually be given still. of course operated. Then you find of course there were other parts that went to even through trial, right? Uh, because you find there were different kinds of, there were different systems in terms of um, of, uh, of levels. You know, like the way you have uh, the, the, the high court, you have their court of appeal like that. So in case, for example, there was opposition, like for example, if maybe it was, it was as an, an age set, they, they, there was an opposition and maybe they were not agreeing on a particular thing, uh, for the common good, actually a decision would actually be like, like a middle ground would be found to actually be able to decide that. So that was very important. So we can say that uh, in Africanism, of course, clearly you can say that there, there is, there was the law, the system of law. Then you'll find, like I have said, even in the, in, in war, death would actually be minimized, right? Yes. You can, like I'm saying, there is that court, for example, of appeal. For example, people would actually appeal in 
case of anything, right? So if you felt you are dissatisfied by the decision or the ruling by the, the Council of Elders, or you felt, and if, if for example, like we we're saying, it's that it was an age set, what would happen is that they would actually break out, that they would break out and go and get this, themselves a new leader, and it was acceptable. It was a way of basically solving the issue so that there would not be any conflict among the age set, because the age, age, age set or that particular group that was warring. So there would actually be a breakout. So you find, for example, um, the importance of actually appeal that they go to a higher court. Remember, the justice system in actual sense was there would, for example, would be seen uh, that even the, 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 the king's court would actually go to the highest court, which was referred to as the, the mother of the, of the nation court, the mother of the nation court. So it actually began uh, from the least court, which was of course the village court, uh, we had the district court, and then of course we had the provision. There was the village court, there was the village court, and then went to the district, and then went to the provincial, and then of course went to the king court. And if at the king's court there was no there was no solution, it actually go to the uh, mother of the nation court, which was the, the highest court of appeal, the high, like the appeal uh, court of uh, 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 courts, right? So guys, that is it. That's it. So uh, please subscribe to our channel, like our pages.